Yo, what's up, guys? This is Happy No with another Guild Wars 2 PvP video, and this time with the Dragon Hunter finally. <laughs> and I'm gonna try and give you a really decent build, but it won't be my final build, how to say. And right now, I have to swap around. You have to swap around with this build with your utility skills quite a lot here. And I'm gonna show you here with a longbow and without traps because I can see it working so great with traps because the tra trap damage feels just not so high the test of faith deals not so much damage and therefore I just decided to try out something else with higher damage output and now I will go with um, judge's intervention over contemplation of purity but I'm testing out here um, against this comp necro necro um, the what's his name mirage Weaver, I need some more Connie clans, and because I'm not having the Connie clans with Rings of Resolve here, only two Connies removed, um, I need a little bit extra here with this one. Then, Litany of Wrath is my healing skill choice because my build is around um, about dealing damage and stuff, so that's why I'm gonna p stay with this Hold one on instead of the points. test of uh, not test of faith, the trap purif purification. And I'm gonna start here by doing this. Maybe I got someone. I need to keep the distance here first. Okay. Knocking away this guy. My allies want to attack this guy. I need no on my spear now. Now the build here works with a spear. And you can see this here what I'm doing. Just keeping the distance a little bit. More stability. Interrupting this guy. Oh, that was a nice interrupter. Hello. I need to run away first. What is with what's, what is with this guy here? No, he has his stupid earth bomb. This guy just wants to kill me here. <laughs> okay, maybe I can reveal the thief. No. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just have to keep the distance a little bit. Damn it. Okay. I'm not able to really show you how I want that damage to be. <laughs> He's just getting knocked back. <laughs> nice done. Okay, so again here, going on top, uh, the the key to the success on this build is just to keep the distance, try to keep an Aegis up, and then just you're gonna deal crazy amount of damage there. Okay, I guess my ally is fine against this guy. Where is he going? The enemy has taken point B. No, I need to go to my allies here. No, mid is not such a great idea. Um, you're getting 25% faster movement speed from your wings of resolve, so don't waste them too early. And now... Okay, this guy is not fighting anyone. I have to go far again. My necro should have no what trouble getting this yours. relentless tier down. It's still okay. He's running away. I need to take care of if he turns around at me. And now we can go mid. Now we can get the Reaper on mid. Uh, now I'm out of combat. Doing this one, and you can see this damage here. Pretty, pretty intense. Okay, going with this. Interrupting him. Nice kill here. And I want my ally to stomp this guy. He's not doing it. I'm just gonna let this guy... He speared and look at this damage. Look at this damage, guys. <laughs> oh shit, he made it out of this. Okay. Now again, just keeping the distance here a little bit, waiting for my spear to be able to use it here we go I got him here and once he dodged something here he's dead yep he's dead easy kill you can even let him bleed there and let's go mid again let's see what I can get here the reaper 
just knocking him away a little bit. Touching. I'm afraid of this guy. Pulling this guy. Did he just make the jump? I don't know. Let's fight. The enemy has taken oh, shit. Point B. Wait a second, wait a second. I got you. Okay, going on top. Need some more time for myself. Here we go. Just, I just got him still. <laughs> okay, going for the decap now and then I can focus on the mesmer. Well, my team, let's just kill this guy first here. Spearing the other guy. Pulling him, interrupting his healing skill. Oh boy, oh boy. Stability applied. Stability applied. The enemy has point A. True shot 8k. Wow. Do you believe me now? <laughs> point B belongs to you. Okay. And the next guy's here. Where is he going? He dodged. Got him. He's still on my line of sight. True shot. Oh man, my true shot failed. Uh, but I have no retaliation or something like that. Okay, that's fine. I should not be wasting so much time. Okay, getting a kill onto this guy first. That's it. My team, man. Wh why, why are my allies the entire time just leaving the caps? This is something that I never understand. 7k damage. Pulling this guy onto us here. One more time stability to my ally. 4300 damage. Spearing off this guy. Okay, my spear failed. One more time. Let's go ahead. Another spear. And I'm gonna get far now. Or I just go. My god, the enemy team is just destroying us by so much. Got this guy on my spear, he can't stealth. The enemy has point a. Do you see this, what I mean? <laughs> the longbow 3 is so nice to use. Point B as it is right now. Killing this guy. Easy, easy. Okay, at least we're getting all the points decapped now, but my team, man, if they lose, they should stop leaving mid. Look at this, again, the Revenant, if he loses that point, oof. boy, boy, that's just insane. I need to spear, oh, where is this guy, can I, oh. I can't see him, which one is it? this guy okay hello my bud why is he he leave he leaves me alone with this guy what okay. oh shit oh shit I wanted to block a little bit earlier. Oh my god, oh my god, healing, healing, healing. I'm not gonna make it. Yes. That's the problem with this build, man. You you have no sustainability. It was it was still really, really bad that they just left me here. Maybe. You could get the revive. Or we can get the downed guy here. We can get both. <laughs> He's down. <laughs> ah, but look at my team, man. What, what are they doing? Contemplation. Litany of Wrath should work a little bit better, but I used it wrong here. We will win this game for sure. I mean, the enemy thief is. Is this guy even existing? He's, he's not at all doing anything. Oh my god. Run back, run back, run back. Oh hell! Cores installed. I need a Charging DPS early. player or this Reaper to one v one. Decapping their point. What? 
He just gave himself stability. No! I have stability. He has to dodge this, but he gets hit. He runs into that. <laughs> this is so stupid when you catch those people off guard. No, I need my spear. Okay, spear is up. And the damage output is here as well. Watch for his healing skill. No, I wasn't able to interrupt that. Shit, 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 shit. Okay, the spear is up. Come on. Pull him. Auto attack him. Oh, this guy just helped me out, but I would have been able to. Mm. The problem on this build is just that I can't feel the, the, the damage output, the constant damage output. Where the build shines is at the beginning of combats when you get your Aegis up, when you spear someone, and then when you true shot that player. You will just be freaking damn annoying to, when you do that. Oh, I, sh I could have speared him there. So the game seems to be almost the done. Enemy has Let's see if I can get B. this guy. The enemy has point A. Okay. Thank you for the free decap. If someone comes from this side, I'm just gonna put him in combat. Okay. What are those? Pl I never understand why those people just always have to stay like this. I could, I could bring him there. Okay, if he, if he ports back. Hello. <laughs> That's what I love the most on my freaking pull. And by the way, I forgot that I need to use my healing skill more often because of the retaliation. Top stat offense. Okay, Your not so, no, so not so much. Uh, not so great. I, I had top stat damage most likely, but on this game it was really weird, and I had always to just hide around a little bit. Um, but still, I'm gonna show you quickly the build and. I will try to figure out an even more decent build. The problem that I have is just really with the longbow, that's the only thing that I can imagine of playing it, you know, with the longbow because of the range damage. And you can see this here with the range damage. What I mean is just this one here. Okay, that was no crit. Uh, but that's like the best damage that you can get. You can hit up to 8k with true shot. And that's in combination with the. Um, Weakness, rune of the strength, and with the speared target. And of course, if you crit, you will deal even more. Spearing this guy, going a little bit for the distance, and you can see this here 9300 damage with the true shot. And that's just gonna happen like this when you when you can't keep the distance. And otherwise, then you just have to maintain a lot of retaliation, and of course, you have to spear your target. And the damage bonus that you will get yourself is, let's see, boom. Um, I want to try it one more time, but someone is on the on this golem. Let's go with the, okay, this guy's dead as well. Let's go with this golem here. So what I was thinking of starting also a battle like this, boom. And you can see this here, 7500 damage. And that's really intense, in my opinion. And the problem what I see is with the healing skill I can't decide which one to use and the ba the basic healing is also really weak with this. So no matter which one I use they're all some kind of trash like right now. And where I can see the build shining even more is a combination of my core build and right now using Marauder Amulet with Rune of Strength, Sword Shield with Longbow, I'm using Sigil of Exposure with Sigil of Energy. I'm thinking also to remove Sigil of Exposure for, I don't know, Sigil of Doom or something like that. Uh, could be also a good option. And on the Longbow, Sigil of Exposure with Sigil of Battle for the max damage output here. And you can see it here, I'm not using, for example, Sigil of Intelligence to get the 100% crit chance because um, once you do this, let's go ahead with this guy here. Once you do this, you can, for example, also throw out this and then 7,000... 200 damage you get your might retaliation and the damage bonus from your what's the name of it uh, the straight line inspiring virtue 
so you get a quite a nice damage bonus there hmm. um, let's go ahead but yeah the idea is just to get the first damage from the distance on the combat when you go ahead you grant yourself some might stacks and then you can immediately throw out this boom and of course you will not crit all of the time but if you have the chance you will get critical hit chance uh, increased especially if you get your retaliation up okay retaliation now let's see if i can if i can just spear this guy one more time boom oh it works not on doubt buddies but still you get the 10 percent damage bonus if you spear someone this guy is just freaking annoying interrupting me <laughs> um then sigil of exposure with badly uh, five stacks of vulnerability five percent damage bonus and the five stacks of might increasing your damage quite a lot and you can see up to 9k plus damage within the first um, engagement on the battle and this it will even increase if you have for example a tempest that stacks you like 25 stacks of might at the beginning of the fight go stand your ground spear true shot and el eliminate any target then virtue rad radiance and dragon hunter on virtues on scattered contender then the best thing here to use 20 percent damage bonus from the distance <coughs> while you have Aegis up inspiring virtue 10% damage bonus after you spear someone or used wings or shield and this lasts for six seconds so more than enough to deflecting shot true shot and also some basic auto attacks to really get the first attack going hard then indom indomitable courage virtue 3 grants you stability is it makes it a stun break and what else um, blocking damage of course and the reduction of uh, Aegis refresh is 30 seconds instead of 45 on Radiance and by the way you have to use it right now like this healers retribution every 20 seconds you get more healing uh, 10 seconds of retaliation um, yeah the main thing here because I'm using retribution 10% damage bonus from retaliation and you also get retaliation here and uh, where, where is it here virtue of retribution gain retaliation when you activate a virtue retaliation you grant has increased duration so for each virtue that you use almost four seconds of retaliation which is pretty nice especially because you are able to use your spear quite often <coughs> oh man my voice is still gone Rider's instincts uh, retaliation increases your chances to critically strike and grants might each interval which means 25% higher crit chance and of course if you have a burnt enemy you have a 10% higher damage bonus um, which will be like this spear interrupt boom he has burning 7300 damage uh, this just means that you will have a 70 or 87% crit chance onto burnt targets like this and that's like freaking insane again here granting myself some burning and of course the good thing here is each time you apply your spear you get yourself light aura which grants you extra retaliation if an enemy attacks you and condi damage reduction by 10 percent duration and damage by the way then let's go with the dragon hunter soaring devastation <coughs> oh my god my voice soaring devastation 25% higher movement speed and you will be um, Wings of Resolve is not a cooldown but better but, but deliver an attack upon landing movement speed is increased when wings now you will also remove immobilized with your wings and you have the 25% faster movement speed this is the reason why I'm not using a rune for movement speed abilities because off point you have this and in combat it does not matter if you have speed runes you will be slow as hell then Sealot's Aggression <coughs> oh my god just a second I have to drink something I really have some voice problems Sealot's Aggression deal increased damage to crippled foes just this passive effect cripples enemies and this doubles your damage one more time when you spear someone and the last one Big Game Hunter striking an enemy tethered by your spear of justice inflicts vulnerability and increased damage dealt <coughs> tethered duration is increased so you get if you spear someone with my combo 15 25 35 percent damage bonus only from those two and with the re retribution 
retaliation grants 10% higher damage which means a total of 45% higher crit chance for example if you get also from an ally here some um, what's the name of it oh i just used it a little bit too early um, if you get from an ally also fury you will have a almost like a 100% crit chance and therefore be really really deadly with this and that's like the main reason why I should you should use this build like this because of the highest damage output possible so and now finally let's go ahead with the healing skill and stuff um, I was thinking of litany of wrath but it looks like not such a great option because you have slow damage output it works pretty nice with the sword but otherwise it is not so grateful and now the only choice purification but the problem with this is it is of course a trap you have to lay it down and enemies have to walk inside of it but I, I i killed so many guardians just because they laid down this trap and i keep the distance killed them like that <coughs> oh boy my voice um yeah so litany of wrath purification better said or maybe shelter i don't know shelter is always my favorite healing but shelter worked better when you had smite condition on it but with like the build how it is not so you have to try it out on your own like this and then smite condition a must have here removes three condition deals damage it gives you no healing now and also no fury but still the best choice to remove condis short cooldown nice damage dealing ability and here we have an optional skill which can be contemplation of purity or judge's intervention judge's intervention allows you to chase down the targets a little bit better and it burns enemies so you have the 10 percent higher crit chance and it is pretty strong combo with spear spearing people or when you just want to true shot low hp targets pretty strong then stand your ground in my opinion a must have extra stability extra stun break also in team fights pretty good and of course the retaliation that it grants you is also pretty nice to have um optionally contemplation of purity judge's intervention or um i recommend also maybe here save yourselves you grant yourself 13 seconds of retaliation a little bit of re uh, regeneration protection might fury and um, so everything you need to damage people pretty hard <coughs> oh man my voice my voice um otherwise i can see anything else here um the elite skill renewed focus must have to get your virtues up again and the lifesaver skill always good to have and what else can i say if you have a lot of enemies with condies just go with the resistance room you get a little bit less damage output but you can see it's here still just a second and let's just do this here from the distance uh i did i did again not wait for the for the burning but you can see this here the damage output is still pretty high and you are immediately able to get some nice might stacks here and hold up your retaliation quite good and now let's see here one more time i just want to bring this guy to to be burning here spear do this keep the distance and i can see the damage now <laughs> but you might just lose like a um, five to ten percent damage output but therefore your survivability will be hugely increased with a even less cardi duration applied to you and when you use your elite skill you get also the resistance and therefore be pretty safe and now guys that was it that was the first dh build and maybe i will figure out a better build with the traps of course around the traps it might be also sword shield with a longbow but i have to test it out before i can give you a good answer about this so that was it the first dh build that i was coming up from up up with better said and i have to figure out uh, something better with the survivability but how it is like this i was able to really one shot people with eight nine k true shots and it was really fun to do it now guys as always three of my other videos which you can watch or not and of course you can subscribe to my youtube channel only if you like to if not don't do it that was happy know the dragon hunter god and i see you in my next videos have a good one all of you and I love you all. Bye bye. <laughs>